Hey, what's going on everybody? Dog trainer, behavior technician, Drayton Michaels, here to talk to you about why artificial intelligence will never, ever replace you as a dog trainer. There's a lot of talk these days about artificial intelligence replacing people at their jobs, and it's understandable in some cases, uh, if you consider people who might work in fast food, or people who work in a warehouse, uh, even truck drivers are said to possibly be replaced by auto driving trucks, which I don't think is a good idea. Um, but there's a lot of sectors of society where artificial intelligence can and will, and in some cases, probably be more efficiently replaced um, and humans will be out of work. I've got great news for you. I've got excellent news. Dog trainers, dog walkers, pet care sitters, all the people who work with dogs will not be replaced by artificial intelligence. And here's why. First and foremost, I don't really care how awesome these robots are at lifting boxes or pulling things or, you know, if you have like one of these robotic dogs that will have a camera so they can keep, you know, uh, an eye on people out in public or whatever. Yeah, all that's great. Dogs view everything in life as safe, unsafe, neutral. The vast majority of dogs are going to find these robots strange. And in many cases, and in, in my opinion, more cases than not, they will be afraid to the point where they will not be able to intermingle with these robots. Now, before people start posting up links and showing me a robot walking a dog, that's a study of one or maybe two. I'm not saying you won't get some dogs who will be able to habituate to it, but the vast majority of dogs will not be able to habituate or be counter conditioned to these robots. To that end, if that was the desire of a human being to have an artificial intelligence robot walk their dog, you have to consider that that dog will have to be counter conditioned to that robot and that will take a dog trainer and one who actually understands applied behavior analysis and has the skill sets for counter conditioning. Considering a lot of dogs are afraid of vacuum cleaners, leaf blowers, lawn mowers, toaster ovens, blenders, uh, smoke alarms. I mean, there's so many electronic things that make sound and move that so many dogs are afraid of. I personally don't see how artificial intelligence robots are going to replace dog trainers. Here is another issue that people may not have considered. Dogs are intrinsically tied to human beings through a few different things. One is the sight of their movements. And any dog trainer who has phenomenal mechanics will attest to the fact that they're going to get results that their clients aren't going to get. And that's because the dog is watching that person and how reinforcing they are and how efficient they are. Number two, scent. Dogs are intrinsically attracted to human sweat and the component of human sweat specifically that they are attracted to is butyric acid. Butyric acid is so attractive to dogs that they can smell it all throughout the world, wherever it may have landed. So if somebody has walked barefoot or have walked with flip-flops and the dog has now approached that path and that person was there an hour ago, they can still smell that butyric acid. That's how sensitive they are to that chemical. If you wanna get a deep dive into scent, I did a great video years ago, it's on this channel and it's called Scent. The other aspect is the sound of the human voice. This is incredibly important to dogs. And I've seen this time and time again, where when I do name recognition for puppies in their first week of class, they are much more connected to their guardian's voice than mine initially, because their guardian's voice has more reinforcement and more familiarity. In addition, dogs respond incredibly well to salient sounds created with the vibrational tonality of a human voice much more than, say, a recorded voice. And yes, I know somebody is gonna say, but my dog responds to the television or if my friend is on the phone. Yes, you will find some dogs that will key into a mechanical or electronic voice, but not all dogs. All dogs do respond to human voices to some degree and to greater degrees than others when those voices have been conditioned and have familiarity. Additionally, sounds that only humans can make with the same vibrational frequencies from human to human within reason, such as whoop, 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 
or or right or so when they get a robot that can roll its tongue like or when they get a robot that can go whoop, 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 efficiently which i'm sure that they can have a recorded sound doing it but now you have to get the right speaker in the right spot that's the thing about sound disbursement the human voice when it comes out of your mouth it is dispersed in a 360 degree angle for the most part for the most part depending on reflective surfaces a robot an artificial intelligence robot is going to have a speaker placed in one part of the component of the robot sure you could have speakers all over i'm not saying that they don't have the technology what i'm saying is the dog's hearing isn't going to triangulate a robotic voice as well as a human voice you might say well we can get robots to make all kinds of sounds yes you can but they don't have the same vibrational frequency as a human voice and that we know for a fact is true because if you look at artificial intelligence recordings where they try to mimic another singer or when they use auto-tune for a singer it changes the character of the voice if you have too much of it so it's a very delicate balance so in my opinion and somebody you know i'm sure will try to prove me wrong or somebody will give me a bunch of examples of why i'm wrong but i don't think artificial intelligence will ever replace real dog trainers and then we have to consider clients of dog trainers are you really going to trust that an artificial intelligence robot is going to be able to come over to your house and walk your dog? The artificial intelligence robot will have to get into a car or get into an Uber. I'm not saying that they can't, but are they really going to do that? And do you know how much these artificial intelligence robots cost? It's not like buying an iPhone. Okay, it's not like buying a high-end piece of equipment for your home, like an air conditioner or something. These robots, these artificial intelligence robots that are working in factories or in the military cost millions of dollars. Could they do it cost-effectively so everybody has a AI assistant? Yeah, I'm sure they could at some point, but they're not available now. And it'll be decades before they are commonplace, before we have an R2-D2 or C3PO robot. And even then, dogs won't change. Dogs haven't changed in billions of years. Sure, somebody's gonna say, but they have, and they've done studies, and they've been domesticated. Blah, 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 blah. A bunch of words for the internet to sound smart. Dogs haven't changed. Their biological and their physiological makeup has not changed for the most part. And whatever changes have occurred have been minute. They are still animals that are designed to run, catch prey, and do the things that dogs do and respond to the things the way dogs respond to them, which is safe, unsafe, neutral. So I don't see somebody getting a AI robot and starting a fleet of AI dog trainers. I just don't see that happening. I don't see somebody getting an AI robot to take care of their dog when they're at work and walk the dog. Again, I'm sure somewhere somebody is gonna put up a video and they're gonna give me a study of one. That's one dog. And even then I would say, okay, how is that AI robot gonna respond when an off-leash dog runs up on it? Will it be programmed to know what to do? Will the robot be programmed with the speed and efficiency to deliver that dog the yes marker and a food reward for counter conditioning? Will that AI robot have the smoothness and efficiency of a human hand signal for sit or for touch? Or is it gonna be clunky? Could we find a dog and condition it to an AI robot? Of course, but that's a study of one or two or three. There are millions of dogs in the world. And in America specifically, the last time I checked, there was something like 80 million registered dogs. The vast majority of those dogs, and I'm talking millions upon millions, are not going to habituate or be interested in working with a mechanical device. They're just not. And if they were, there has to be a human in that mix who understands counter conditioning, who understands how to help that dog feel good about that AI robot, just like it would a vacuum cleaner. So again, I don't think that AI is gonna take a job away from a dog trainer anytime soon. And if you wanna take it a step further, 
I don't think ChatGPT or any of these search engines that can spit out information to questions is going to replace dog trainers anytime soon. Humans want to have another human in their life helping them learn or helping them take care of or helping them train their dog. They just do. And I don't see any time in the near future or ever to be quite honest, that AI will replace real dog trainers. Thanks for watching Modern Dog Training's video about AI and dog trainers. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and pass this information on to somebody who might need it.